What's up, everybody? I'm Nick Cato. I'm Walter Bowley. And I'm Spencer Breland. And this is Podcast Tree Loaded, episode one. Mm-hmm. Brought to you by GamingTreehouse.com. GamingTreehouse.com. And yep. for those who followed us from Live Through Games, it might sound like it's the same title, Podcast Reloaded. It's not. It's very different. It's Podcast Tree Loaded. We went ahead and updated for the new website. Uh, and Spencer here, he's new to all you, in case you followed us. Spencer, why don't you give him a rundown? Uh, yep. Uh, my name's Spencer. I was over at Gamers for Gaming. I was the founder there. And I decided to hit up Nick, my old friend, to uh, start a new thing. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I hate my computer so what much. <laughs> no, it's all good. We're, we're, we're still recording everything. I don't know what happened. I deleted a program, <laughs> so now I get like a billion pop-ups like, saying like, hey, you don't have this. I don't know what it's, it's from, but it's we've, okay. We've been through adversity before. Yes. I think we'll be okay. So basically we merged our websites together. Mm-hmm. Our first week we've already had over 18,000 views, 15,000 unique visitors, mm-hmm. which is... Way more than we got to through games combined. Yeah, it's mind blowing. It's a great start, you know. Um, I've put some content up there. I put up uh, a review and uh, a little piece of news. Uh, Spencer has put up some great leaks. Um, what were those leaks, Spencer? Uh, it was a Pac Man and Galago coming to Xbox One. Uh, and then you had the Gears beta footage. I grabbed that before most of the other outlets. And yeah. then we had that Witcher 3 release date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you did. And yeah. then we had that. And then. But then this guy over here, <laughs> Nick, he uh, he hit it out of the park with that Ratchet and Clank review, which uh, I know I know you're eager to okay. spill the beans he, he, about he's that. He's grinning. If you can't <laughs> it's, see his. It face. makes me a little. So when I posed, when I decided to give Ratchet a ten out of ten, when I I know I didn't I don't really know Reddit. But I know that He's they're like just salt farmers, just <laughs> living there. And I posted it, and I was like, oh, here we go. Yep. Mainly positive. Mm-hmm. Got a few, uh, got one salty guy added me to Gaming Circle Jerk subreddit and <laughs> had a defender. And then I was at church this mm-hmm. morning, and apparently my review got put up on n4g.com, which is a pretty decent gaming website. And. By the late afternoon, it was the hottest review of the day. I mean, so that, that was a 10 out of 10, though, right? Yes. How long has it been since you gave a game a 10 out of 10? That way we, that way, these people know and how picky Kato yeah, is. If you followed us on Live Through Games, I've only given one game a 10 my entire life. In Live Through Games or, like, in general? In general. And that was Super Mario Galaxy 2. Not even my favorite game of all time, Oblivion, which is a 9.9. <laughs> Which there's just too many glitches to give. Yeah, it a you can't ignore all of them. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, what about you, Spencer? What's your What's your ten out of ten? An example. My ten out of ten was Fallout Three, but I mean it had a bunch of glitches. So yeah, it did. To, to other and people, it'd be different. But I mean, I played I, on Xbox. And I and actually did an article on Live Through Games. Actually, like at the very it's very on there beginning. You can find it. I did. It was called What Makes a Perfect Game, and I kind of broke down like why we would say a game that objectively all the facts in front of you isn't perfect yeah, yeah. but you still want to give a 10 out of 10 because the experience to, yeah. you have with it <laughs> uh my last 10 out of 10 would be legend of zelda link between worlds for the 3ds yeah, uh, really just because i mean that was the most complete zelda game i ever played it was just so good but yeah so nick making people mad because he likes a game i guess i'll never understand hey. apparently uh according to the guy i was a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> who is caving and pandering to the hive mind of Ratchet and Clank fans to promote my shitty website? I was like, "Well, thank you." <laughs> that that guy must think the world's a pretty great place if all it takes to be a I piece know. of shit is to like a game. <laughs> but, and I wanted to ask this question to you, Spencer, because you know Reddit. Yeah. I want. Usually, I just don't want to reply to anyone. I thanked the guy who was defending me. I was like, "Thank you." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I went to comment on another thing because someone like disagreed with me respectfully. I wanted to like type with them, but it said I couldn't comment again for six minutes. That's, That's probably a subreddit like. rule. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I, it said like, oh, you're doing too much of that. Yeah, no, six minutes. I know if you're like uh, trying to post the same link on different like subreddits or something, it'll tell you, hey, you gotta wait like ten minutes or something, but mm-hmm. never comment. It, it, yeah, it could just be a subreddit thing. Yeah, for that, really for weird. that uh, thing. But yeah, so we're really we're happy about that though. We're proud of it. 
Oh yeah. And uh, let and us get normally, more hate. <laughs> yes, I want. I want the hate. Like I but said, I fuel they, off the they're, hate. They're peanut butter and jealous. You know? They are. <laughs> I fuel off it. I'm, but I'm very happy it did. So you. normally here on Podcast Reloaded, what we'd like to do is uh, give a little kind of recap of the week, let you know what's been going on gaming wise. You know. Maybe probably explore some articles we put up that week a little bit more in depth, have a little discussion about it. But uh, this time we're, we're just getting to know you guys, hoping that you guys get to know us. Uh, and then we'd like to bring our own topics into these things also, uh, where Spencer is new to our format, but yeah. I think he agreed to jump in with both feet and just <laughs> see if he can swim. Uh, exactly. But yeah, we, we just bring in these weird topics all the time somehow how many episodes do we do uh, I think 65 65 66, episodes like 65. all three of us came up with our own topics for 65 episodes and we still had stuff to talk about <laughs> yeah so I guess since you sort of know us we did our little bios on the website which you could read about us I know Spencer doesn't like writing about himself I, I but hate writing about did. myself I want to hate editing this episode because I hate listening to myself so this, this is going to be fun <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. it. It's good. So, what about yourself? Do you not like writing about? Uh, I'm just not. I don't know. I just I hate talking about myself. It's like I don't like to boast. I guess. Well, you're running a. You want to be a gaming personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't boast, so. Yeah. It, it's gonna be fun. Well, it was very hard. I don't know. I just try to keep it simple. Uh, I, I, I just followed Nick's kind of little about him and I was like okay I can feed off that not just yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah this is what I wanted to bring up now, okay but I was bring saving it up, bring it up Walt I already know what you're saying yep. Walt <laughs> accused me of Zuckerberging because I, I forgot to mention to him about the bio thing I really did so you know and then Walt says oh you know Nick put his bio on top of Spencer's and I was right. like no I just wrote Nick, it mine yeah, first Nick wrote it first so yeah then- so this is what Walt does. He could just do the easy thing and just click where we left off and continue writing. Walt took the time to tab space down all of me and Spencer's bios just to put his on top. First off, what I took the time to do was click the top of the page and start typing. Ridiculous. That's what I took the time to do. You had and to have tabbed it. No, still I didn't have to tap shit. I just, so you can see it. I might have had to right hit now. enter once, but like, and I just started typing because I legitimately thought it was Spencer wrote, then Nick wrote, and then I just figured I wrote. But now Ridiculous. I hear okay. that you know Spencer hates writing about himself. <laughs> Nick probably pressured him into doing it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's but that's old. not why you Zuckerberg me. You Zuckerberg me because when you said oh, Live Through Games, God, you said sorry. Live Through Games was run solely by Nick Cato Enterprises. No, <laughs> I didn't. No help from and anybody this, whatsoever. And then he posts to Facebook that he's just starting a website with me and totally forgets you. Just, yeah. I'm that sorry. That was the Zuckerberg. I've changed. I that's forgot. where you did the Winkle so, boss. I, I also want to address <laughs> this because if there are – any of the five Live Through Games fans that we are here. We did have a, a little bit. We had a couple. Comment and stuff regularly. But I know you're asking, where's Matt? Right. And uh, Matt doesn't really like typing, th- like writing articles and all that stuff. He's going through like a lot of stuff trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life right now. So if he wants to jump on the podcast at any time, I'm more than happy to have him yep. jump on the podcast. Mm-hmm. But... I haven't really been in contact with that for a little bit because yeah. he's been off the grid doing stuff. So that that's what's going on with him. So we'll see what happens with that. Right now I'm thrilled. Yeah. That's an understatement of thrill. <laughs> like when I saw those reviews, like the first time that we got like over a thousand viewers in a day, I was like, holy crap. Like this might yeah. be something good. I, I didn't think we were going to keep it up the whole week, but we literally kept it up like the yeah. entire week. Yeah, and that's, we just want to see if we can keep it up in the future. So, exactly. Spencer, you still playing Dark Souls? Yeah, yeah. Dude. Where you at? Well, I haven't, I've been with my girlfriend all weekend, so I haven't had a chance to play. But I just got past that second boss and uh, messed around a little in that next area, but I haven't went further than that yet. Oh, uh, okay. I just started, and <laughs> obviously I gave my guy the biggest beard you can get. <laughs> obviously. But, see, this is my dream. I want this pot, because if this gets big, I uh-huh. want to get, like, sponsorships. I want beard brand to sponsor the podcast. <laughs> That's my dream. It's not going to happen. But, yeah, okay. no, I, I don't have a beard to uh, help with that. But, yeah. but you got okay. it. <laughs> One thing, the first thing I heard him say about Dark Souls 3 was, what the, three Estes flasks? <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, what is that? You have yeah. three yeah. Well, technically, you have four flasks, but you have to, when you yeah, get to you, Firelink, you can allot them to 
Which like is what I did. One, two, and two, <laughs> one and three. But I'm pretty sure until you get to like towards mid game, you're just gonna want to have all Estes. So and then wh- maybe for some spells or whatnot. Which class did you go with, Nick? Uh, knight. You. This is what happened. See, this is what I'm curious about because in Dark Souls two, I was a like a tank guy. I used Wayhander and a Tower Shield. Yeah. And I had enough endurance and stuff to do a regular roll with like the heaviest stuff. But I'm curious if. Bloodborne has morphed my play style because I couldn't use a shield and stuff. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about maybe Thief, but I decided to go with Knight just because the, that's the like... sword on the Knight is crazy good. Yeah. I know. But yeah, Bloodborne, but... I got into Bloodborne a little bit, and now I think it's rubbed off on how I play Dark Souls 3, and I'm like mm-hmm. 10 times better. God. That's, <laughs> I'm... But see, here's the thing the thing that I think is going to hurt your play style in Dark Souls 2 is Dark Souls 3, the enemies, the mobs are way more aggressive. Than they were in previous Souls games. Yeah. And I don't. Did you play the other Souls games, Spencer? Uh, I played the first one, and I okay. literally got past yeah. the first boss, got to skeletons, These... and I just rage quit. <laughs> the the enemies in Dark Souls One, while hard, are not as aggressive as these guys in Dark Souls Three. Like yeah. they are just like. No, no, no! Come after you. You're like, like what the crap? It's like they don't forget you ran by either. They're yeah, like, no. <laughs> I, I knocked one off the balcony, and literally, I, I was like, oh, it died. So I'm sitting there picking up some crap. I wait a minute, and the sucker literally comes back up, and nails me in the back, and kills yeah. me. I'm like, they what take that the shit crap? personally. Like <laughs> they're gonna come find you. Yeah, I heard what the game was. Uh, I think they said that. Dark Souls 1 was easy to get to the boss, really hard boss, and Dark Souls 2 was insanely hard to get to the boss, easy boss. Yeah. And I heard they just, like, fuse them together. They're like, they just, <laughs> you know what? The, hard to get to the boss, hard Fuck boss. All of you. <laughs> yeah, no, like hard to get to the boss, a lot of people have been boss. having issues with the first boss, though, in 3. But it took me, like, three tries. Not See, out here's the thing. Like, I just saw uh, my buddy Scott last night beat it first try. He never really? played Dark Souls 3. He was like, he just started playing. Yeah. And I told him, I was like, I, I defied him, you know, four or five times. I was like, I don't know if yeah, he no. <laughs> People on the Facebook groups have been uh, talking about how they've had some issues with it. But. Oh, God. But him, the thing that gave me problems, which doesn't seem like it's even anybody else problem, is the boss you're closest to, Spencer, the yeah. next one, called the Cursed Rotted Greatwood. Mm, obviously. It's just like... <laughs> That makes sense. I'm still upset about that boss, and I am like two hours past it. Yeah. <laughs> I no. fought two bosses since that boss, and I'm still upset about that boss. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> See, I'm. I don't know if I'm really. My, I don't know if my soul is ready for this game. Is it dark enough? I'm going from the happiest gaming moment of my life <laughs> in the, the past darkest. couple years, <laughs> smiling all the time, oh, and just sitting yeah, there like, <laughs> "Dang it!" It's like, "Oh my god." Yeah, no, I saw a thing on the internet. It's like somebody clicking on a tutorial for Dark Souls, even though there isn't one. And as soon as mm-hmm. they click on tutorial, it says, you died. It's over and over. It's like tutorials. You died. There's your tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, you got to love it. Now, there's a lot of things that this Dark Souls just doesn't like to tell you. Like, no. Um, here's you... one. Here's, here's one for anybody listening that cares. You know your equipment, your down directional pad, your Estes, fire bombs, throwing knives, yeah. whatever you have down there? If you hold down, it goes straight to Estes Flask. Really? You don't have to skim through your menu. Yeah, you I didn't just know hold that. whatever. Like, say you have throwing knives or fire bombs or whatever. If you just hold down, straight to Estes. It, That's good. it literally took me ten minutes to figure out how to equip a fire bomb. If that makes you feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. How to, I forgot really how to play Dark Souls for a little bit because I was in the beginning area. I just got to the first bonfire and turned it off. I was like, I'm not from that boss. Dude. I know, so I was sitting there. I was like, oh, yeah, what's the buttons? I drank an Estes flask. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, dang it. And then I fought that, like, crystal lizard thing. And Walt, of course, was like, oh, you're not supposed to beat it right now. And I was like, yeah. well, challenge no. accepted, obviously. <laughs> I got yeah, no, this. No, I saw the message. It said, turn around. I was like, okay. <laughs> and turn around, man. <laughs> See, that's just it. I am too damn curious to be playing Souls games. Like, I'm like, oh, I mean, I, I could go forward, but where does this go? <laughs> and then a few seconds later, you died. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. <laughs> like, I just have to, because there's so many. I mean, you learn playing Dark Souls 1. Like, yeah. you just got to explore. Like, the rewards are so worth it. Like, I've never explored in Dark Souls and been like, oh, that was such a waste of time. Never. Oh. Like, that is that is the one thing in Dark Souls. Like, if you take the time to go off the beaten path, 
you will get rewarded. Yeah, that Katana guy, he really pissed me off. I died probably about 20 <laughs> oh, times trying to kill him. him. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have fun. This is the thing <laughs> about Dark Souls. That usually with me, video games, I just want just fun. Dark Souls is not fun to me. Dark Souls it's is like... Way. Yeah. Oh, it's, a different it's, on very it's like hitting the gym. Like Dark <laughs> Souls is, I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life, and then it's like the biggest high I've ever had in my life. Yep. Where I beat a boss, I guess. And then immediately after that, beaten down again <laughs> yeah. and again. It's, it's like, soul yeah, I killed that boss, and you walk up, and then some random idiot just wipes you down. Oh, my God. I, I remember, I, th- I think it was Bloodborne. Yeah, I was... Of course, did my usual, well, not usual anymore, but there was one part before when I, like, it was the easiest boss in the game. It looked, like, really terrifying. It was in this town center. Did you uh, get far in Bloodborne, Spencer? Second boss. I don't know what it is oh. about second Father boss. Father Gasco? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, that guy. It's just, like, I don't even want to talk about that guy. It's annoying. But there's these, like, it's with a chapel, there's, like, three hunters there that you fight. But I ran past all these things because I couldn't fight any of the monsters. So I just ran straight to the boss. Yeah. I was, like, about to get to the boss. And someone invaded my game. I was like, <gasps> are you fucking kidding me? And then because I was running, not only did I have him, all the three hunters caught up to me. I just got body bagged. <laughs> and I looked, I was like, God dang, I hate yeah. this guy. That, that's the summary of the game right there. Just... Mm-hmm. Now, so, here's oh. the story of Dark Souls. Do you know how you can summon for help, Spencer, yeah. in Dark Souls? Yeah. You have to, first you have to burn an ember to become human, mm-hmm. and yep. then you have to um, put down your sign or look for somebody else's sign to summon for help. So apparently there's this password system in Dark Souls 3 where you put in a password, a buddy puts in a password, and then mm-hmm. you guys can play together. Yep. So I'm trying to play with Matt for the cursed rotted great wood because I'm just so sick of this boss, and um, and so we put in the same password. I burn my ember and it's still not showing up. I still don't see a sign anywhere that he says he put right there. So I'm mad. I'm like, well, I can't even summon for help. You know what I get for asking for help? Invaded. <laughs> That's what you get. All I wanted was help, and instead I get invaded, killed, and then taunted. <laughs> yeah, that, that sucks. So, moving on from that, I just wanted to say, well, first of all, you said you were going to try to get this podcast on iTunes. Can we get this on iTunes? Uh, Are we have to get to do SoundCloud? Well, what I was reading is we need to get a couple episodes in, and then I can put it on iTunes, but I gotta. there's a lot of other crap I got to do to it to make sure everything's right before it, they approve it. Mm-hmm. So, I'm thinking about maybe after a third episode, uploading it to iTunes. But for right now, we'll probably just do, like, SoundCloud, YouTube, that okay. kind of thing. Yeah, so I saying. Yeah. I, I used SoundCloud before for the audio podcast. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you have any questions for us at all, you could, it'll be in the description, but email us at gamingtreehouse.business at yeah. gmail.com. Because yeah. gamingtreehouse at gmail was already taken, so... <sighs> See, gamingtreehouse.business sounds legit. Yeah, it does. Official. And I... Hate, I hate that guy on Twitter. Yeah, that that guy on Twitter. I messaged him, tweeted him. What guy on Twitter? I've not heard anything. What guy? On the Twitter? one guy on Twitter who has the handle Gaming Treehouse. Uh huh. So we're doesn't use it. Well, then how about ours is Real Gaming Treehouse. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, right now we're it. Game Treehouse. <sighs> so annoying. Yeah. I hated it. All I was right, like, well, we got everything else. This is our first one. I figure we do one little topic. That's pretty standard. That way everyone kind of understands our mindset as gamers. And then we can just call it a day for our first one. So Sounds good. What I got here, it's super basic. Most anticipated game for 2016. Super basic. Just to go in right there. That All way, right. I think that's a good way to get people an idea of how we, how we think. Okay. I wrote an article on this, which you can find at GamingTreehouse.com. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know if it's 2016 anymore, though. Well, I know. For sure, it's Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, for sure. No, that's pretty sure. That, that's pushed. definitely not 2016. I mean, it, I don't know. I don't remember if it was officially. I don't think well, it was You might as well say Last Guardian, Nick. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know how excited I am to not have to make that prediction anymore? Because we're going to do an E3 predictions? Yeah. I've made that prediction for, like, five years. <laughs> it's coming out this year. They're, they're going to show something. That I my It morphed slowly from... They're gonna 
It's gonna come out next year. Two. two they two, might which, show stuff. Two. <laughs> they're gonna mention, briefly mention it, or show like a the name Last Guardian on screen. Jesus. Slowly mention it. So Mass Effect. Um, you can go with yours while I'll open it up to see what else to see okay. if I can find a game that's for yeah, sure because, coming yeah, out this year. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of the big ones. I mean, honestly, I'm not convinced Final Fantasy 15 is coming Dude, out. Dude, it's coming out. I mean, it's definitely said, coming out. They, it's coming they out. They said, what they say, November or something? Or September? I September. think it was September 28th. And, and September then you got movie. You got a little anime series on YouTube yeah. right before oh, it. They focused all this energy instead of just releasing the game less than 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I just hope it doesn't follow Duke Nukem Forever because that, that was a oh train wreck. My. Whoa, we don't even. Oh, we could we could bring this up back because you brought it up. Who we can bring and, up. That is, I don't know. I, I'm sure everyone okay. knows my history about Two Worlds, about how I hate it more than anything. <laughs> All right, yeah. any game, but I don't need to hear that. Right by now. the way, Duke they're Nukem. actually thinking about releasing yeah, Two Worlds a third. Three. I said, no, no, I said in the link. Don't worry, he knows yeah. about it. All. Uh, so okay, so Duke Nukem Forever was coming out. And I'd heard about, ooh, you can play Capture the Babe in Team Duke match. And I was like... Clutch. <laughs> I was obviously. like, all right, I'll try the demo, I guess. And so I downloaded it, Nick was over. And I'm playing the demo. It's kind of funny at first. The very first like part of the level is kind of funny, where it's like, power armor is for pussies. Yes. <laughs> and so I'm playing. And then the game play starts. And Nick wasn't even playing it. And it sucked the fun out of the room. It was so bad. <laughs> like, and I can't go into specifics, it was so long ago, but yeah. I remember it was so bad. Like, we were both in a bad mood after I just played the demo. It was a Dementor from Harry Potter. It sucked <laughs> the happiness from our souls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have it now. Okay. I don't know if this is coming this year either. My number two was The Legend of Zelda uh -huh. for NX. Boom. But for, I'm just kidding. But for <laughs> Wii U, it was coming out. And yeah, so it's either that or Uncharted 4. I think if it's we'll, not coming out, I think we'll either party. see that later this year, or early spring next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shut up with your hate, <laughs> Walt. You have Walt. Ha I know he he does it on purpose. I know he loves Uncharted, on and he just does it on purpose just to make our friends very upset. Whatever. Stop then, being so our, manipulative. You know what? Our website looks damn good on tablet. Yeah, yeah it I'm does. not gonna lie. You should so, go. I mean, for down. mine, I mean. Legend of Zelda, is it confirmed yet for 2016? Legend of Zelda Wii? I don't know. Or NX, whatever. Well, it says 2016, but I, <laughs> yeah. I thought it would come out. Like, last I really year. don't want to say it for any game that's not, like, absolutely confirmed. Like, it, Legend of Zelda NX would probably be my number one if I, they had a release date for me. But since they don't, and off the top of my head, I'm not sure if I can think of anything right now. The Doom Bait is getting me pretty hype. Um, have you played that at all, Spencer? I uh, played the Alpha, and. I haven't tried the open beta yet, but mm -hmm. whenever I played the alpha, it just didn't grab me. But I want to try it. I, I like it. It's like it's kind of like Unreal Tournament, which is a I game know. that I liked a lot. I'm yeah. very underwhelmed. Like very underwhelmed. I, just, well, I love like the the demon transformations and the pickups and in today's like, shooters, cool. it just to me it doesn't stack up next to all of them. I mean, back in the day, yeah. Doom was awesome, but now it's just like I'm ready to see the campaign, but the multiplayer just hasn't really grabbed me much i like it a lot yeah, but the thing that's gonna keep me from buying it is like map and gun variety like there has yeah. to be a lot more like to which me, of course it's a beta so yeah to me i thought the guns were terrible all anyone was doing was either running around with the shotgun or rocket launcher the fast movement yeah it's fast walking movement but i think halo 5 is faster movement yeah. with the thrust See, I, I don't feel that when i play halo like it was the matches certainly aren't as fast paced as doom yeah, it felt like a primitive game to me, a, a, a like a good-looking primitive. Well, kind of like a Valve game, I guess, because like Counter Strike and Left 4 Dead, they always like kind of look like that a little bit. But, yeah. but so I guess my most anticipated game, and this is, it's probably gonna piss Nick off a little bit, but uh, the Witcher Three Blood and Wine expansion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a DLC. <laughs> yeah, but it's DLC. Dude. It's gonna have more gameplay than oh Uncharted Four. So get out of here, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> my god, I, I don't even want to get into it. I don't even want to get into it. It, it, it will you know. probably take you longer to beat it, that's for sure. But Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to get into this. <laughs> no, don't you want to get into it? That question Multiple mark Game best. of the Year award winner. It's maybe? great. Like, I'm not denying Witcher 3 is not great. But the question mark, I, I am like a completionist where oh, I can't right. have something that's, on my map. You would spend hundreds of hours in that game. Oh, yeah, ridiculous. I know. You know how long it took me to beat the first area? And I still didn't. You talking about like white orchard, like the first area, yeah. like you show up in? Because I was like, oh man, there's a question mark on this uh, <laughs> bulletin board. I'm gonna click it. 
And then I looked at my map, and there was like because it shows you where all the non new stuff oh is. Oh my god! And they're just like. I don't, even, I don't even I'm Dude, done. What's your most anticipated? That, that's I'm how done. it was with Dragon Age Inquisition, though. Literally, in that first area, I spent probably days in that first area. And come find out, you're supposed to move forward and then come back later. I was like, well. Yeah. Dragon Age Inquisition was really, like, it was pretty fun, but I don't know. something. I felt like it was missing something, and I couldn't say what. Like, there's something missing for, in it for me. Yeah. I don't well, know what I mean, it was. It, it was totally, to me, it was different than the previous Dragon Age games, but it, I loved it a lot. It was but, definitely closer to Dragon Age 1 than 2, that's for sure. Yeah. But it was better because you got to ride the bull. <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's so amazing. I, I didn't play Dragon Age Inquisition. I don't uh, I don't really like Dragon Age that much. But I mean, it's Mass Effect in a fantasy setting. Yeah. I mean, that's, well, it, it, it was well, exactly what it, it is. It doesn't play like Mass Effect. The Inquisition <laughs> one was amazing. I, uh, my friend has it sitting there because my friend also has like four Xbox Ones because he sells them. Dude, I know. I'm telling you. Is he like a drug dealer? <laughs> Electronics. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> That's alleged. Yeah. But making some money over there, dang. Oh, he is. Well, no, not really because they're all sitting here. <laughs> but yeah, I made a deal with him to get this iPad Mini. Yeah. That I'd mow the lawn until mid October. <laughs> Oh my God. And he just gave me an iPad Mini. I was like, "All right, sounds good to me." And he's not even gonna miss it. <laughs> no, no he's, got, he's got like ten sitting over there. It's yeah. All good. yeah. Uh, so, what's your most anticipated game? My most anticipated game is probably Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep, that looks it, so it good. It looks amazing. And it does I'm, look really good. I I gotta see a little more because that presentation at E3 was gorgeous, as they always are. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's true. <laughs> But like, I don't. There hasn't been a game in recent memory that the E3 presentation lived up to the actual game being released. The, like that, Witcher Three pulled that BS. I, I agree. Watch Witcher Dogs 3 pulled, pulled that BS. It, Dark Souls Two pulled that BS. Watch Dogs pulled that BS. I'm really excited for Watch Dogs Two because I, I believe it's coming this year. Well, San Francisco. It's gonna be <laughs> set in San Fran. Well, that I'm cool. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Which city's a city? I'm very excited for like see how we grow over that time because me and Spencer are planning the San Francisco trip around in mid-December which I still got to get the exact date available so because everyone in my school just doesn't want to do that so I'll figure it out it's going to be fun so if we grow maybe we could do something or maybe if there's like some like trade show or something going on during that time my, my dream is for us to make it to E3 one year oh, yeah, yeah it would be uh, good <laughs> That'd be insane. You just gotta you gotta apply for that press invite. Yep, but I gotta wait until we get bigger. Before yeah, we dude, can. you could just say we were the number one on N4G. <laughs> they're, they're like, who? What? <laughs> they're like, what's N4G? They had twenty two thousand Twitter followers, so yeah. I was a little excited. Yeah, yeah, it, it was crazy. So, so Horizon Zero Dawn is that twenty sixteen confirmed? Yes, it's quarter. Yeah, fourth quarter. Probably fall, right? Yeah, It'll I'm, s- like I'm so excited. Yeah. I am a huge Killzone fan. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to see up? them do something different. Exactly, I because they're so talented and they've been just like strapped with just Killzone for so yeah. long that mm-hmm. they're doing something completely different. And, and, and Killzone Shadowfall was a very pretty game, but it didn't get the yeah. traction I think they wanted it to. Exactly, I enjoyed uh, it. Again, you enjoyed it, but I mean, you played that game less than you played like Titanfall, and you barely played Titanfall. Dude, Titanfall's amazing. I know, I love Titanfall, and I'm yeah. pumped. Mech Swords, Titanfall too. Come on, what else do you fucking need? <laughs> And what would be amazing is if they incorporate the virtual reality with Titanfall. Imagine getting oh. in a mech suit. Oh my god. Yeah, can you imagine? But see, that's my problem with virtual reality. Imagine how you look to other people, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, just, oh god, guys. <laughs> I'm that's why play, save that for yourself and, or, when you're alone. <laughs> exactly. Like, I have furniture. So I, I, I feel like that's a good segue into, into a conversation. Okay. Okay. So obviously we all know that I I play all three systems obviously, but I'm primarily play on my PlayStation and I know now I'm outnumbered because mm-hmm. I have Spencer who used to have gamers for Xbox and I have Walt and I think they're both like me. I think they have all systems and yep. they just play all their third parties on Xbox mostly. Yeah. And yeah. so are you I think didn't um one of the Virtual reality headsets get confirmed to work for Xbox One. They're uh, talking about it. I've was it Oculus talk. and talks? Yeah, it, it was Oculus, but I mean, pretty much it's just you play everything in like a theater room. That's you play your Xbox games on a theater screen, and you're sitting there. It's not actually like 
the legit. So not so virtual reality games, are you, just a virtual reality headset it, that has a screen. If there is oh. something virtual reality, and I had the Morpheus, not the Morpheus, but their virtual reality headset now, I would probably get my third party game on PlayStation 4 if there was a big enough virtual reality thing on it. Just like how they, how they have the Star Wars thing coming for Battlefront, I'm really excited to see what that is. Oh, yeah. I was, that's what I was curious about. Are you guys upset that Microsoft isn't doing something Dude, with virtual reality? The virtual reality does not excite me right now. Like, it's something that I think I would like to do, but it's not something that would change me as a gamer. It's not something that would, like, inform my opinions, because, yeah. I mean, I've seen the library of games available for VR right now, and, bleh. <laughs> it's um, like it's mostly just experience it, games. Like it's, ex- it's the beginning, it's like, right? Right. Now, instead of rock climbing in real life, is rock climb in virtual reality. And yeah. Instead of crawling around on the floor in real life, crawl around on the floor in virtual reality. Like, it is an experience. It, it's yeah. a lot more exciting in virtual reality. My floor is pretty nasty. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, my floor and then I can't help but picture how I'm going to look to my son and my wife. I'm going to yeah. look like a psychotic. Look, th- that's why you guys <laughs> send them away for the weekend. Oh, here's a trip for you to go do something and. Yeah, and I don't want to pay eight hundred dollars, or which is like the I think the it, best one is the Vive yeah, eight hundred dollars. Well, it's like five hundred, four hundred, five hundred for the PlayStation Four. Yeah, uh, well, well, has, unless you have the PlayStation Move and camera, which of it, course it, everybody that's does. That's four hundred dollars for the core bundle, five hundred right. for the yeah. whole bundle. But I just can't picture like just looking like that while playing a game. <laughs> Like, oh. can you just wait? Just wait. There will be YouTube channels dedicated oh, yeah. to how people I remember look when the Wii came out, you saw so many reality. videos where they were just chucking the this Wii remote that, into the TV. Times four. You're yeah. gonna see cats get kicked. You're gonna see TV stands get knocked over. The, the, <laughs> oh, on on IGN, they had a video of uh, them playing a I think it was Vive like horror game, Paranormal Activity, yeah. and Marty one of Sleeper? the girls like was cowering on there. Like, oh, oh yeah, I saw God. that one. That was today. Is that I what think. you want? Yeah, it was yeah. hilarious. Is that what you want? <laughs> no, you know what I want? I'm more excited for more for like the non-gaming applications. Yeah, like sporting events, amazing. And can what, you they're just gonna, like, just, they're like, just gonna go to like some moderately priced seats and slap a camera on it, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that'd be exciting, but I mean, we'd probably still have to pay like for like you know like pay per view. It'd probably cost us that just for an event. Yeah, God, but I'd pay to <laughs> VR Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude, he was so good. And then at your internet connection, internet connection just drops and it just freezes. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Hmm. And it must yeah. be. I didn't. How many people are going to get caught, you know, touching themselves in virtual reality? Oh, that's what's going to sell. Let's just be real. Because you don't have a lot of awareness while you're in VR. No. So you're not going to hear your roommate come home. You're not going to hear your girlfriend come home. <laughs> and you're going to be in a situation that the internet is ready for. Oh, yeah. They already made videos for it. Already? Yep. Yep. So that, that was my question for that. But before we go, because this is like an introduction thing, like our introductory podcast, how crazy is this, though, Dude, I'm that excited. this happened? Like, how insane, like, because me and Spencer were really good friends mm-hmm. in middle school, and then he moved, and like, we, I don't know, we just, grade, yeah. yeah, like, just dropped, and then we didn't, I think... You might. I think you added me on Facebook or something. Yeah. I think like my first year of college or something, like 2010, 2011. Yeah. How insane is that? Social network. But after all these years, <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. yeah. And then first week, eighteen thousand. Dude. Gonna go strong it's in the crazy. next it this is coming week here. Thing. We're just waiting um, for E3. E3, we're gonna. Oh yeah. It's gonna be insane. I'm so excited. Take off. It's work. crazy. <laughs> It's, it's so crazy I'm actually like talking to you again like yeah. video like it's so insane yep. I can't believe it this is fucking nuts <sighs> but time. god oh, <laughs> I know it's insane I was I was gonna say I was sitting there I was like I wanna like cause I had you on Xbox live yeah. and like I saw you playing Halo 5 and I was like I'll invite him to a you should invite him to a party chat and I was like ah, I don't know maybe it would be weird it's been so <laughs> long I was like I don't know if he'd even like to play multiplayer I was like you, I don't you know you just have to give me like five minutes because I never wear my headset so I'd have to like go <laughs> grab it <but laughs> God. Yeah. I don't either so now we can start playing games yep. again it'll be amazing it'll be fun Exactly. I got you on PlayStation and Xbox, and obviously we're not gonna play on the Wii U together because no. that's not gonna work. 
That's way too complicated to try to even do. <sighs> it's God. such a pain. Yeah. I remember I played with his brother. I played Smash Bros. And um, the connection was one. I live in I live an hour away from his brother, so the distance shouldn't be a problem with the connection. Yeah. And it was bad. <laughs> and, um, and the chat. Technically, they oh have chat <laughs> in Smash Bros. <laughs> one, you can only talk in the lobby. You can't talk mid match. Yeah. And the audio is horrible. It sounds like somebody is blowing a fan on full I, I, I didn't blast know they into had the mic. Chat on the Wii. <laughs> while you're trying to while you're trying to talk to them. Oh, well, it's not in game chat. It's in the lobby. Yeah, in chat. lobby yeah. chat. It's the yeah. dumbest. Dude, this is. This is what I'm so scared of. It's like, I have all these high hopes for the NX. You can watch my high hopes, because all of our podcasts are on GamingTreehouse.com as well. But I know I'm going to be disappointed. (laughs) I know this is going to suck. They really need to not be disappointed. I'm not so disappointed when they say, (laughs) when they don't announce, like, a new Metroid game coming to NX. Just get ready for that. They better. But I'm talking about, like, when they say, you know, uh, touchscreen integration. Oh, Oh, no. That that can, if it's touchscreen, you can count me out. Yeah, yeah. See, this, see, this is what I'm saying. I'm going to say, I'm going to count myself out, but all I have to do is just say, hey, uh, Nick, there's Mario Galaxy 3. I'll be like, well, I've obviously got to buy it. <laughs> obviously. Because I, I, I don't really regret buying my Wii U. I bought it used, but it was fun, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mainly played Mario Kart and the, what was it, Wind Waker HD online. Yeah. That was all the use it got out of it. God, it's bad. But I think we should wrap it up. Thirty yeah, wrap it about up thirty-seven minutes is good for the intro. Usually, what we're gonna do, we'll come up with the names of it mm-hmm. for the segments. But there's gonna be the news segment. Yeah. There's gonna be like a, I guess if you want like a random gaming mm-hmm. con- or just like a general topic mm-hmm. thing, yeah. and then emails. Mm-hmm. No then any emails or comments we get, we'd like to put. Uh, we'd like to any guys listening. We'd like to put up on the website probably the day before any questions for our next podcast. And exactly. so we want you in that article. Email us at what was it? Gamingtreehouse.business at gmail dot com. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, or we'll comment on that article. Like comment on that article and give us any questions you want us to address in the next, po- in the next uh, podcast. Reloaded. And uh, we'd like to address those. Uh, unless we get just way too many, we will address them all. We would I, I say... Th- I think yeah. we have a while for that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if... It's going to be on SoundCloud for sure. I can, make, I can whip up a SoundCloud account really fast. But what day do you guys want to record this? Uh, probably I mean, Friday or just Saturday. Just a weekend. Are good, just a yeah. weekend is good. Uh, I can... Whichever some one Friday or Saturday? Saturday. Work, yeah. yeah. If okay. he can't do Sunday, Friday or Saturday is fine. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, this is episode one of Podcast Reloaded, and thank you all for listening. Mm -hmm. Keep gaming. Later. Keep gaming. Exactly. Bye.